Hi everyone, this is Helen, the youngest sister from Three Years Apart, and today I'm giving you another haul video, a collective haul video. It's from multiple trips, and this holiday season there's tons of sales, tons of coupons, so I'm not gonna put prices on there. I'll leave as many links as I can, but keep in mind that most of the items bought have been reduced, the prices have been reduced quite significantly, so that's why that's why we went ham on it. So I'm gonna split this up into two videos, I think, because I went to so many stores. I went to the Dollar Tree, Walmart, Michaels, Target, and Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna start off with Dollar Tree. So first there's these adulting stickers. I did, I thought it was so cute that they had these. I mean, they're pretty big, but making it super creative. And I feel like I relate to them quite a bit. And then I got, sorry for the glare, testing out new studio lights. Got these page flag sticky notes. I, one of the things I can't like resist is stationery. And I just got simple, I like the big ones sometimes. I like all the sizes, honestly. And my most favorite part is the washi tape or decorative tape as I like to call it. And I got this grid ones. I think one of my favorite washi designs is grid. I don't know why, I just think it looks really cool. So if you haven't gotten gotten washi tape from Dollar Tree before, they are generally thicker and bigger rolls and the material itself isn't made of rice paper, I don't think. It's just tape. So it has a glossier ooh, texture. It's interesting. And I had to get the character ones. I just zoom zooms, man. I was I was <sighs> avoiding getting these for so long because I knew if I started, then I wouldn't be able to resist getting everything. But I mean, it's it's Disney. How can you? I've re I've resisted for so long. So, but look at them, look at them. It does have the word on some of them, um, a little bit of it, but. All right, let's zoom it in a bit so you can see a little bit more clearly. This one is Disney princesses. What I like about it is that they have Mulan. They almost never have Mulan. Or maybe there's like, yeah, L Mulan is like very limited, and so is Tiana sometimes. They even have Merida. Merida? Merida? Uh, yeah. Hey look, Mulan. Anyway, so that's the washi tape I got from, that's everything I got from Dollar Tree. Alright, next is Walmart. I didn't get as many things from Walmart, but... I got these buttons. I plan to make charms out of them for my planner. <laughs> Everything's for my planner, I swear. Let's put that for you. Alright, so I grabbed another oops, another pack of stickers because I didn't have this one and I use these quite a bit, so I I think it's justified. I shared the other haul before on my ch on the previous video. So, and what I like about this, it's pretty cheap for good quality stickers. It's about four dollars, four or five dollars, maybe even less, just around that price, and you get twenty sheets, technically ten, but just doubled. So two of each sheet. What's this? Okay, well. But the designs are so cute. Can you hear Evie? She's a barking at something. I don't know what, but she's barking at something. Ooh, I really like these. I'm kind of picky with my icons for some reason. I don't know why. They're just icons. See, and again. Start, we've started over. So, yep, you get 20 sheets, you get two each sheet. I 
of each design, I should say. I think it's a good deal. So, moving on to Target, because it's not as expensive. Not, oh, uh, what am I saying? Not as, um, as much. So I got these scissors. There we go. Look, they're on clearance. There's a bunch of organization things on clearance, and it's my weakness, man. Containers and such, you know? This, I shared this on my planner Instagram, um, Get Together Evie. And like, they're so cute! It's the Mickey Mouse! Got peanut stickers, Christmas themed. It's so hard to resist all the Christmas themed stationery items, I swear. Sorry for the glare for most of this, but I thought this was cute. I have a lot of- I got- I got a lot of pads, you guys. I- I got a lot. I like to use them for journaling, too. Like, I like to rip them up. And use it that way. Maybe? Oh. Maybe I should just take it out. That was a dollar. A dollar! So if they were on sale, they were probably really cheap. There we go. That's better. Amazing ideas, and this has lines and grid on it. I mean, I like grid the most, probably grid or blank. I remember when I was younger, I was like, I, was, I remember thinking, lined lined paper is the best, you know, not grid because you know it's too much. Sorry, am I saying you know a lot? I feel like I am. Probably. Am. Can you see the grid? Lining grid, sort of. It's very faint too, but I like that. Another this, one of these. I use these a lot, actually. Okay, so that's it for Target. Stationery and like supplies and crafting wise. Now I'm going on to Michaels. Now this isn't all just for me, it's for Amy as well. So I got some undo, finally got one. I should have gotten it a long time ago. I've ripped plenty of stickers before. <sighs> but now I have it, just in case. Good to know, good to know. I got these. They're like social, can you, blurry? Why is it blurry? Uh, uh, is that? Maybe, maybe I should. There we go. Since we do have social media, I thought stamping it would be a lot easier sometimes than sticking it on. I mean, knowing me, I'm just gonna have stickers anyway as well. Because I can. This was really cheap as well. I think it was part of the dollar section of my goals. Discount section. So next I got this Tim Holtz pack. It's a smaller version, so the bigger version for Christmas themed. I already used it, that's why it's kind of um apart, not connected. It's double sided, which I like. Because if you want to make multiple projects or for some mess up on another one, then you can just take it out and use the, the other sheet. If you're curious, I made a Christmas tag. <laughs> It's actually shown in our shop announcement video. So I got more washi. One of my favorite things, plant supplies, is washi. Can you see? Is it glaring? I got the camping one because I like to go camping a lot, actually. I think we might go camping at the end of December, I think? Maybe? I don't know. Plans are still to be made. I got these ones because you can't really see it, but it's actually a clear stick clear washi tape it's not the entire strip too it's like cut out should I try to take it out should I, uh, oh it's just kind of really hard to open pack yeah I'm not gonna do that you, you'll get the idea so next I got stickers look how cute these are they're animals and sweater I mean don't do that in real life Especially for these animals, they'll hate it. But 
Should I open it for you? Even dogs and cats. Well, certain dogs. I had a friend whose dog just like loved getting dressed up and like the whole, loved the whole process and everything about it. And I thought that was pretty cute. But Evie, on the other hand, she just kind of stands there and like looks at you like, why are you doing this to me? What did I, I'm just, I don't like this. Sometimes she just doesn't mind. So next I got this, sorry, is it loud? Sorry for the noise, the accordion book by Art C. Arto. I mainly got it for the tin. I like the tin to store things in. Again, places like the container store and stuff like that, it's my jam. I got this accordion, it comes with an accordion book. Um, I think this would make a really cool gift. We can make a scenic thing, a scenic, a scene with it basically. And you just open it up and you just set it up and display it like that. And water, maybe. I'm getting more and more inspiration, which is a good thing because I did lose it for a while and I just didn't know what to do. But you just gotta keep, you just gotta keep crafting and doing things to get your inspiration back because you can't you can't just wait well you could but I don't really believe in waiting to get your, your inspiration because this doesn't come that way just keep your mind your mind gears going and eventually we'll come back so next so this is on clearance see look how pretty it is I take it out as page flags I have a problem with page I have a problem with everything as you can tell since most of the <laughs> most of the videos on this channel are haul videos. It's New York City. Well, I assume because yeah, it's New York. Page flag style. I don't know. I don't know how. Oh. Okay. I mean, I think they could have packaged this a little better, to be honest. Like, like if I want. <laughs> this is a tiny page flag, that's so cute. I feel like it's gonna get it's not that sticky anymore. But yeah, they could have put paper backing on this because it's sticky right here. And if I just want this and I have to take both of these off. But this is really cute, it's like building your own scene. I like it. It's designed very well, but not packaged very well. I'm afraid they're all gonna fall apart, so I'll have to put it back in the bag or something. Alright, this is true. Oh, I got this pen. I got the black one already. I use it all the time. It's pretty good, actually. Especially for photos for Instagram. Black and white, gotta get the basics. I have a pack of these Traveler's Notebooks po adhesive pockets. But I got it back up just in case because I did use some of it. That's that. And this is for Amy. Or Amy bought it for herself. It's a bunch of these magnetic page flags. They're cute. Can you see them? Can you see them? I like it. I especially like the black and white design of it. I'm not going to open these because it's Amy's. And I don't know what she wants to do with them. Bookmark thing, perhaps. Oh, I, I forgot I got this. I got another pair. Ooh. Sorry, I'm surrounded by a mess of things. That's what happens when you're getting really into a project like filming. So I got the foiled Christmas secrets by Mambi. Me and my big, me and my big ideas. I'm not doing um, December daily, but. I mean, I want to journal every day. More like catch up journaling. <laughs> but this would be really cute to not only decorate your journal or decorate gifts with it, stationery, Christmas cards, whatever you want. It's super cute and you can use it. I mean, I know it seems redundant. Not redundant, that's not the word. It doesn't seem very cost effective to buy things that you only use once and once a year as well but you know you'll use it at the same time so I got ooh I also got the stamp pad 
the brilliance stamp pad. I if you watch Job's journal on YouTube slash Instagram, he uses this all the time in his um, journaling, traveler's notebooks, and stuff. I think it looks really, really cool. So can't wait to start doing all that, especially if you stamp on top of like craft paper or black paper or even red paper. That would be really, really pretty. Okay. So moving on, next I got this Tim Holtz ephemera pack again Christmas. I just love his style, his vintage style. I don't know, it's basically the same thing over just in different sizes of ephemeras and stuff, so I'll get, just spread it out a little bit. If I have to pick, like I never, these are cute, but sometimes I don't know what to do with them. Cause I'm like, I don't know these people, but they're cool. So I'll probably use it anyway. Do you see anything you like? See anything? Ooh, that's cool. I don't think I see. that's cool. Ooh, a music sheet. The decorating. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. I should get some. We actually put up our well, we put up our Christmas tree a long time, a couple days ago, but we finally got to decorating the house and the tree yesterday. Cause we actually been pretty busy, which is <laughs> strange because we normally have no lives. It's a wreath! It's a wreath! Can you see the wreath? Focus, Helen! Focus! Okay, so I'm just gonna keep that to the side there. Next. Uh, oh, this is for Amy bought it. Um, i seen a few reviews on these. They're by Artist Loft. So Artist Loft is a Michaels specific brand, like um, how each store has their own brand of things to release. This is, I think, their knockoff version of the Copic markers, like even the shape and everything. We got the the earthy or blue tone pack, and I think Amy likes it, that's why she got this. And it was on sale again. Uh, nice package. I maybe this is why it's on sale. I don't know. I don't know. She just got it, put it in the basket, and we moved on. I think it's cool. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not up to standards of Copic markers, but I think it's a good starter point, and it's a good Christmas gift too for beginners or people who just don't uh, care. Like I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so I got two clear stamps. The first one is this one by Dina Wakely? Waffley? Before I didn't, wasn't, I'm, my style is changing, I noticed, with journaling mostly. And I like, kind of like these girls. And you can like color them in whenever you want. And it comes with this stencil here. So that's cool. I really like these words too. They're quite small, but very impactful. You know, fear spray worthy. All that good stuff. And I got this stamp set of cameras. If you don't know, I like to collect. Ooh, that's cool. Maybe we should try that. Oh, idea. Anyway, um. I collect cameras. I mostly like to collect vintage cameras, even if they don't work. I mean, I'm not gonna use it anyway. Some of them do work though, I just, they're either out of battery or whatever. <laughs> but they do work, some of them, and I really like to collect them. So next we're on to, oh, this is a just a fun little, it's a wooden postcard. I think. This is Amy. Amy bought it for someone, and I doubt that someone will watch it. But apparently, they say this a lot. I'm like, seriously? So I think that's what she's gonna give them. And then we bought this. We already have the A for Amy and H for Helen, but Amy found the T for our last name. And it's just a blank, I see. I like blank. Not that I write straight, but I mean, it's, it's nice to practice stuff in. She also got these. This. This is to go people to see and things to do. It's lined too. Again, I'm not gonna open it because it's hers. I really like the flip up book. I know left-handers like it too so that the 
spines doesn't get in the way okay so the last things i got from michael's are these journals from again the dollar spot should i zoom out so you can see a bit better but they came out with new items well new to me i didn't see them before they're mostly lined so yeah some of them are lined some of them are not again this is also for amy, like amy as well so i don't really want to open them but they're just how much are they maybe like five two one to five dollars somewhere between in that range i really like blue it's probably one of my favorite colors so that's everything for this haul i think next week will pop maybe next week or the week after i'll show you what i got from hobby lobby because it's a lot it's a lot of sticker books to flip through if that's a hint for you so thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to see more haul videos and other journaling videos or whatever videos we decide to put up then subscribe like it if you like the stuff um and comment if you have any questions and we'll see you next time bye